I was going to let this blow by me, man. But you know what? Then I got to think to myself, like, that's what my platform for. It's here to speak my mind, to let other people in that comment section speak their mind, even the disrespectful mother that come through here. I wish mercy on you. And you obviously ain't checked into this channel because me, I ain't biased about nothing. I ain't going to say all police no way. I ain't going to say that all black folks no way. I ain't going to say that all white folks no way. We going to keep it honest. It's about elevating. Getting somebody comment sex and think because you type in capitals it means something. Man, that's a sucker. You a sucker. Period. I'm going to give you my point of view. And ain't really tripping off who don't like it. If you can't tell. Thank you for tuning in to Ace B's point of view. Now, I didn't let this one breathe for a day or so. As I look at the video and new information starts to surface. It started off, they say he was breaking up a fight between two females. Then they come out with a, another video showing the other side of the car where the fight was supposed to be happening or whatever. And the visuals kind of, you know, not grainy, but it's a little blurry. So you can't tell who's fighting with who. But either way, that brother Jacob comes from that side of the car, the passenger side. And before he even takes a couple steps, the guns are drawn on him. As if they're telling him to stop at the passenger side of the car. Guns are already drawn on him police are saying stop with the climate of America it would be in his best interest to go ahead and stop see cause look man you gotta think past go you knowing that they gunning shit down anyway right so you cannot hastily aggressively walk away when they telling you to stop at the passenger side of the car, you walk all the way around to the driver's door and try to get in it. Now, me keeping it a thousand, I got to say that Jacob fucked up right there, y'all. That's my point of view on that. Now, at the same time, the police fucked up too. Because... They should have shot his ass sooner with the taser that is. But then let's be real with ourselves. Even if they would have hit him with the taser before he got to that car door, which is what I would have done, because I'd rather have a damn case for tasing him than shooting him in the back seven damn times. But let's be real. There would still be an uproar. Y'all see where I'm going with this? And then the media... They going to sp keep spinning it and pushing it. And now check this out. Usually when they do interviews. They going to question like. Uh, why didn't he stop? Why did this or that? They doing none of that. They feeding into it too. They not even going to say what I'm saying. Which is the ugly truth. Because they know that this shit is causing riots and. All kind of confusion and some more shit around the world. Well, in Wisconsin right now. Since the incident, he has had surgery. Uh, he's recovering from the surgery after uh, they found out that uh, one of the bullets that went through his back shattered one of his ribs that punctured a lung. So he was taking on fluid uh, sometime Monday. So how uh, many... They got 
I'm sorry, go ahead. No, Robin, go ahead. Um, I'm just curious, how many how many times was your son shot? Uh, a total of seven. And we had heard reports that perhaps he was paralyzed from the waist down. Is that a temporary condition? How is he right now? Right now, we, we don't know. One of the bullets had uh, done some damage to his spine. So we don't know if it's swelling that he is has caused them to have paralysis in his leg. We're, we're not certain at this time if it's going to be permanent or temporary. Jacob, um, I presume you've seen the video that we've all seen at this point. Have you been told a version of the events that happened? What is your understanding of the interaction between your son and police, if you have any at all? Uh, I have an understanding of what happened. They shot my son seven times in his back while grabbing his shirt. We all saw what happened. And do you, have you so, talked? Have you talked to your son? Uh, I'm going. I'm headed to uh, to uh, talk to him right now. Oh, okay. So you're en route. So um, are, is route. your yeah. is your understanding that he's he's conscious and communicative? Uh, he's in and out at this particular time. He was under uh, medicated uh, coma type just so he could heal up. Yeah. So uh, regardless, I'll be sitting there with my son. Yeah. I just want to touch my son. So I'm driving. I drove all night uh, from, from my home in Charlotte. And uh, I'm on my way to touch my son's face. And have you had any conversations with police at all? I refuse. I refuse right now to talk to them. I refuse. So they I'll have... I'll speak to them probably Saturday when there's a couple thousand people want to go with me to get some answers on Saturday. So we're going to get some answers. Somebody's going to ask us some questions. I'm going to keep it honest. If that was my son and I was the dad, I'm mad at him and the damn police right now. Because I know good and well, well, maybe he hasn't, but he sure should have told his son. When they got guns drawn on you, dog, stop. I mean, there's two police with guns out. You know what some odds of one of them shooting you. But at the same time, they didn't want this to happen right here either. Because if they would have tased them, if they would have tackled them, it's not, if they would have did anything, we'd be sitting here going off on the damn police too. About why did they tase the man? He didn't do nothing. But man, we got to keep it a thousand. When the police tell you to stop, you might take four more steps man but you gotta stop especially if your kid's in the car we gotta think and I'm not riding with they ass because true indeed they shot him in the back but you gotta realize waiting to shoot him in the front could have led to Jacob turning around with a firearm of, this is how they looking at the shit so we can't keep putting ourselves in positions to get shot we making ourselves available to get shot. And yeah, it's fucked up they hit him in the back. It gets no realer. But man, we got a whole damn place in an uproar because the police shot that man in the back. But we got to take accountability. He should have stopped. We got to keep it real. As, as bad as I don't want to say it, man, he should have stopped, though, especially with your kids in the car. Because when I'm moving with mine, I know good and well I wouldn't have walked around that car because I, I, I don't want them to see me get shot right then. I don't want my mother to get that car. See, that's why you can't move off emotion, man. Because keeping it real, he was probably pissed off. I'm putting myself in his position right now. I'm probably like, I ain't did shit. 
Ain't no reason for me to stop. This is my emotion talking. This is my anger at the situation with these guns drawn on my ass. I'm like, fuck y'all. I ain't did nothing. What stop for what? And you continue to walk, man, when they're telling you to stop. And then it's like, if that's me and another man arguing, and he start walking off and get ready to reach in his car and I got a gun, I'm going to shoot it because it looked like he going to get something. We got to move wiser. We really just need prayers. As I was riding through here, through the city, I noticed a lot of damage it doesn't reflect my son or my family if Jacob knew what was going on as far as that goes the violence and the destruction he would be very unpleased Firemen, clergy, politicians, do Jacob justice on this level and examine your hearts. for my son's healing physically, emotionally, and spiritually. I also have been praying even before this for the healing of our country. God has placed each and every one of the, us in this country because he wanted us to be here clearly you can see by now that i have beautiful brown skin but take a look at your hand and whatever shade it is it is beautiful as well Amen. Yes. how dare we hate what we are yeah. we are humans god did not make one type of tree or flower, or fish, or her horse, or grass, or rock? How dare you ask him to make one type of human that looks just like you? Wow. I'm not talking to just Caucasian people. I am talking to everyone. White, black, Japanese, Chinese red, brown, no one is superior to the other. The only supreme being is God himself. Please, let's begin to pray for healing for our nation. We are the United States. Have we been united? Do you understand what's going to happen when we fall because a house that is against each other cannot stand. To all of the police officers, I'm praying for you and your families. To all of the citizens, my black and brown sisters and brothers, I'm praying for you. I believe that you are an intelligent being just like the rest of us. Everybody. Let's use our hearts, our love, and our intelligence to work together to 
show the rest of the world how humans are supposed to treat each other. America is great when we behave greatly. Thank you. His mother had the realest message of all. If you don't walk away with nothing else from this video, you heard what his mother said. And just keeping it real, man, we got to get it together, though, because that shit shouldn't happen. It shouldn't happen. And I'm going to keep it all the way honest. And I don't know if this is what happened. And if y'all want to go back and look, go back and look. It looked like that brother was fighting with them police on their ground. I ain't see no girls. I heard the girls hollering. All I'm saying, man, is we all riding with him. It's people riding with him behind his actions, man. And I'm not saying that he was. You feel what I'm saying? It's just a messed up situation that this is where we at. Because everybody involved in that incident. Is 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 screwed over right now. The officers, Jacob, they they all, you know what I want to say. His mother said it best, man. And I'm going to leave it with that. That's my point of view. Appreciate y'all tuning in.